Alrighty, you welcome back to the show. It's still tea time on Plus TV Africa. Miles, the eighth one of the world, very much in the building. It's still back Thursday. Those were really amazing oh, and yes, interesting yes. videos wow. from way back. Like, if you could relate to any of those videos, you are extremely old. It's nothing wrong with being old. Getting old today. Could, could you re could you relate to any song? It was just that first that first one. Which one was the first one? Is it P Square? Oh, P square. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 that do, one. I mean, yeah, 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 that's the only one I can relate to. Oh. Then this, I think the one I like was this Love Me JJ. I didn't even know that Shafi was. Yeah, she was a musician. That's that's wow. her. She uh, she showed the mood. That's her cousin. So she featured she featured on wow. his um, wow. on the song. All right. Anyways, welcome back to the show. Let's get back into the gist for today. And this one is a very weird gist. It's a very funny gist. And huh. I just want to ask people like, what are those weird things that you guys do? A lot of people do weird. Things. I do some really weird stuff too. I know somebody who eats uh, who eats custard and egg. Yeah, not custard, then oats and drops egg inside oats. I'm like, oh, I thought you said custard and egg. I was say that. You do custard and egg? Yes. Good. As you drop custard egg inside the custard. No, I don't put it inside the custard. How do you do it? What's it? It's just like How eating a um, beef cake, akara rather. <laughs> it's just like eating akara and pap. Mm. Yes, now like that. It's very sweet. We should try it. Akara and pap is normal. No? That's custard normal. and egg. Is nice. Try it. Boiled egg or fried egg? Boiled egg. You can also do fried egg. It's not honestly it's, it's really nice. It is fantastic. Now put a lot of sugar. We make So oh, moving on away from this weird woman, there's another weird woman in her story. A woman who is addicted to eating toilet paper yeah. has claimed that she eats up to four rolls a day and spends almost two thousand seven hundred dollars a year buying it. Uh, she goes, I eat toilet paper from the I, I, I eat toilet paper from the second I get up in the morning. Her name is Kima. She, uh, she told people on a particular a show called TLC that she's so addicted to it. Now, according to TLC, that's a show, the addict eats up to four toilet paper rolls a day, which is almost 14 hours over the past 20 years. She eats it every day at work, in the car, at the mall, every day. Even one of her exes, I saw an interview with one of her exes who says, she that's it's she's not making it up. She eats. She's addicted to toilet paper. And you know, toilet paper doesn't even it doesn't. What's that word? I don't think it digests. It just stays in there in your stomach. And and then when asked like, what is the what is the fetish? She, says she just likes. It. She said even when she said, when she, even when she's in a bus or she's driving and she's people always stare at her like that. She doesn't care. She eats four rolls of toilet paper in a day. Now if she was working <coughs> here, if she was working in possibly I would I would have understood why our toilet paper is always missing. Uh, it's like, Kima, how far now? You don't go chop this in again. Like, so, wow. isn't that where she spends $2,700 annually wow. buying toilet paper just for consumption? I have heard, I have heard different weird things. This one, toilet paper. Mm -hmm. That, that, that thing is so... So it's not just it's clean. It's no, it's fun. clean, but it's, it's somehow... It's a toilet paper. Mm, that's why I said, what's what you... Like, okay, why, when I want to eat, when I want to eat pineapples, I... I added a little bit of salt to it, and people find it very weird. Now, I found I started doing this when my mom was pregnant with my my younger brother, and it was one of the things that she used to crave as a pregnant woman. So when I tasted, I liked it, and boom. Man, myself. that is food, but toilet paper. It's just like someone saying they eat um grass. Grass is food. No, not grass. It's veggies. Um, they eat biro cover. A lot of people or, I do that too. Now but I, I just swallow it, but I chew it. Okay, I saw a video yesterday on a particular chef. Who can't eat anything? A chef. A chef. Okay. Who can eat? Like she, she cooks, but she can't eat. Why? Because she has a problem with digestion. digestion. Oh. Do you get? Now, people do. You know, they keep saying that our youth, in uh, when you're young, try to train your body in such a way that even when you grow old, you don't have um effect or Problems you don't have problem yeah. and yeah. all. Mental now, issues and all. Yeah, she might be doing this and she's not having any effect or she's not having any issues. Do you get? But when she gets to that point where she's supposed to, you know, relax, enjoy herself, and she's a she's a very beautiful person, fine she's very fine girl, and she can't. Now, like you said, toilet paper, they don't uh, mm -hmm. it just stays just there. She might it might get to the point whereby she herself she won't be able to eat. I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of people have so many other really crazy fetishes. So many other things they do. How will you eat? So when I saw that, so I was like, okay. What, what else don't I do? Wow. Let me just come out and ask people. Like, maybe is it only me that is stunned by this? What else are people eating out there? 
Anyways, away from that, please, you want to say something about it? No, I, I, I wanted to say that it's just like people who come out to say that um, I'm alien, I identify as... Um, <laughs> so identify as... Um, <laughs> you, yeah, toilet 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 chua. Chua, yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, it's as a snack, actually. That's when I have snacks instead of changing that okay. Let me just imagine you who you cut. Wow, you. Okay, anyways, Bono Boys in the news. Uh, Bono Boys recently... Um, Vision's performance at one of those biggest biggest stages in the world oh. uh, is going to be broadcast live on in 165 countries. Woo. Like they're going to broadcast it again. They're going to broadcast it to over 150, 65 countries. Wow. So people can watch what happened. Oh, do go is, yourself. Is doing, is doing well. But that's wow. not even that's not even the only just now. Uh, a couple of I think it was two months ago, and uh, there was this whole new cats, old cats, new cats saga. When the video said it was one of the new cats, and oh. Nigerians took it overboard. Now the Grammy Award winning Nigerian singer Damini Ogbolu, aka Butter Boy, has said he's not bothered by the misconception miscon that he's new in the music industry, despite releasing his debut album de decade ago. Now, however, in a recent chat with Apple Music, uh, Butter Boy said it is a good thing some people think he's new in the industry, stressing that it makes him feel younger and want to do more he said it's a good thing that people think my movement is new i love that because it keeps me young uh, it means i can do so much more you know it stretches my lifespan now Bernard boy is saying like even though david and the likes or some people say he's a new cat in in the industry he likes it that yeah it's okay that means he's doing something very very good and, he's and i agree with him and when the whole when the whole night was oh, old cat why is he calling him new old cat new cat and everybody was going with it and going crazy about it there's absolutely Absolutely nothing, nothing wrong. wrong. What's wrong with anybody calling you a new character? Sure. So even do, even do. Even if do. you are new or old, you are doing amazing things in the industry, and you are putting you are putting your country on a global map, map positively. So I beg, it's it's okay. Like Bonner Boy is doing so well, and there's something I have noticed. I don't know. He's now beginning to his songs. Right. He's now beginning to like. He's. I think he's doing a mixture right. of you know the hip hop. Like the American scene and my Afrobeat, so he's kind of mixing the whole um, this thing. And I think I the reason why he's doing that, right, is because he's also buying, he's also like gaining um, fans. He has he's, fans. Already. I know he has fans all over. Like he's trying to like appeal to you know um, a wider audience. the wide, a wider audience, and and. For me, he's doing well. Whether new, he has said it, whether new cards or old cards or whatever. He said it's, he said he's it's fine well. with it. If anybody thinks that means, yes, he can still do more. That means he's really, he's more, really yeah. young. So, yes, it makes him feel young and like, it just stretches his lifespan and it just challenges him to do more. So, I think that was the best response. Yeah, yeah now, actually. And if you notice, if, well, some people might not agree. When, uh, when David was saying this, he wasn't... In, he wasn't um, shading burner or anybody. He wasn't. He was just talking like as many newer people yeah. because obviously he had been there before Burner Boy joined the pack. And it doesn't matter. It is there's nothing wrong with that. It's people just take it overboard. They yeah. all do it extremely well. Nigerians will always be Nigerian. My dear sister. So that being said, we gotta go. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Ah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow yes. is Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Do not forget tomorrow is Friday, Freestyle Friday. We'll come back tomorrow with the energy, with the vibe, uh, with the intellectual conversation, and we'll also be taking a lot of shout outs and uh, music requests from you tomorrow, right? But that being said, this is where we draw the curtain today. But thanks for watching. As always, join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. And remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this very one, and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You see, you see one bell on your YouTube. You just just to click it and subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on r tv and in London on Ben Television and Star Times Channel 308 and DSTV Channel 408. A very big thank you to every person who's been behind the scenes making it happen. I'm talking about Ajasa, my director, my line producer for today, Precious, uh, my camera unit, the person who held it down, Mr. Kofi, every person in the MCR. I think it's Mr. Dio that's an MCR. So yeah. Mr. Dio, well done, and all the editors that make it happen also. Uh, we're talking about all the editors that make it happen. Mr. Shell. Yeah, Mr. Shell is Shil. always holding us down. So yeah, Rumay. Uh, Rumay's there too. Yeah, oh, Rumay. 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 Uh, and hope, yes, hope yeah, too okay. for holding that MCR. We got to go. Do not drink and drive, ladies and gentlemen. Put God first and the rest is history. Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water and mind your business. It helps you be blogger. We out.